Today I want to introduce you to the newest piece of technology in our office called the Itero Digital Scanner. It uses three-dimensional scanning technology to give a model of your teeth for us to build your crowns and bridges and veneers. It does it in such a way that it eliminates a lot of the need for the goopy and very bad tasting impression materials that we used to use and gives us a much more precise and pristine model to work with. The benefit to you as a patient would be the fact that you will have a crown that fits better, it looks better, it lasts longer, and is a much better return on your investment in your oral health. This little scanner right here shoots out laser light, it reflects off of the teeth, comes back into here and goes into the computer and creates a three-dimensional image on the screen, much like a CAD CAM image that you've seen in other areas of technology. With that, then it gets, once it's completed, we send it to the laboratory in, in um, New Jersey where the model is fabricated and then off to the laboratory in Virginia where the crown is made. It's a very simple process. It just requires the end of this right here to go inside of your mouth and you'll hear, you would hear a little beep every now and again and we'd change the position and it would beep again and you'll be able to see in a moment how that's created on the screen. And once that's completed, then the laboratory sends, the, sends us back these models, which will reflect where your tooth has been prepared, the upper and lower hitting together just like so, and then a crown that's created on that model for your tooth. So we'll go through the process and you'll be able to see just exactly how that all works. So we're using this dental school typodont so that you can see in more detail what's going on without the encumbrances of cheeks and lips and tongues. As I start this process, you'll be able to you'll hear the computer telling me exactly what to do and I just have to follow it along and carefully hold it still while it takes all its images. Every time you hear that beep, there's a hundred thousand points of laser light that are being sent out. And then reflected back into the little sensor that you're seeing right here. And that's what's creating that image virtually on the screen in three dimensions. So since we're doing one crown, it only takes the scans of this one side. And so you can look back on the screen and you can see that everything looks complete and pretty filled in. So then we go to... So then we start back on the other side of those teeth. Try to keep the teeth lined up in the crosshairs. But even if you don't perfectly do it, it's still still smart enough to figure that out. So we start with the opposite side from where we're actually doing the crown. So that whole upper is done. And if I have any doubts about that, I can grab it and spin it around, look at it, and make sure all the information is there that's needed. Any of the blue places are places where there's information missing, but it isn't critical to the success of the case in this particular instance. So now we'll go on to the lowers where we did the preparation. Starts with a prep prepared tooth first. And you have to make sure you can see everything. All the edges, all the margins, from a pretty much straight down view. Yeah. 
If you move at all, it'll tell you to retake it. It's not, not too shy about that. And you can see that preparations are being built three-dimensionally right on the screen. And it goes by segment, so you can see that you got everything, all the information is there. And if you want to add scans, you can do it now to fill in the missing spots, or you can come back when it's all done and do it then. So we'll go to next. So it'll ask us for the adjacent teeth next. And I'll try to stay out of the way so you can see. Now we just go through like we did on the upper and it asks me for all the adjacent teeth and fabricates that particular model as well. And we'll go on to the other side. Okay, so now both upper and lower jaws are done on that side, and it'll ask me for the bite registration. So we have the patient close all the way together, like so. And I always have them squeeze tightly together because they have a tendency to want to open. And we slide the sensor just alongside, get as much both arches in as you can. And see if it'll stitch them together. And there we go. So now we'll view that. Depending on how many teeth in the row that you're doing and working on, it takes maybe 15 to 30 seconds to for the computer to kind of stitch everything all together in three in, in really high definitions. And it's very humbling to see your work up there in high def because it's it's uh, you'll see every little scratch and, and mark on the preparations and things, things that you think are just perfect looking uh, oftentimes aren't so perfect when you put them up there in high def. Not that it matters to the quality but it, uh, it does really point out the fact that everything is not so smooth as you think. So now you're looking at an image on the screen that shows the blue area right here shows the most highlighted and most important areas. Where you see the red, it means the teeth are touching or nearly touching. If you would see that red over the prep or even yellow, you know you don't have enough reduction. And you can go back and change that, reduce it down, and then rescan that particular area. So we'll get rid of that. And then we can turn the tooth on its side. You can make sure you have all the information you need, which in this case we do. Any little spots like this one here, you can extrapolate that in and it's not going to affect anything. But if you would see that on a margin somewhere or on a 
contact of an adjacent tooth, then you'd want to go back and add a, add a scan to that. If we put the other jaw on it, then you can spin it around and look at see how the bite is, to see how the teeth fit together. And then from this point, if you like how it looks, we hit send, and it's sent off to the lab in New Jersey where a model is made out of polyurethane, which is like bowling ball material. And then it's sent to our laboratory in Virginia where they fabricate the crown. When it comes back from the laboratory, it's set up like this on this little hinge with the crown in place. And you can exactly see how that would work to make your crown. The bite fits perfectly. The way it touches the adjacent teeth it flosses very well. It fits really well and gives you a crown that's going to look good, feel good, and last a lot longer than conventional old impression materials. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please contact our office. Thank you.